How fast can you make a beat on the OPZ? Let's find out. Free beat. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Free Beat, where I post new music-related content every single day, so if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, let's get started. So, yep, I've got the Teenage Engineering OPZ in front of me. I know I said I'd retired it on the channel. What I should have said is I have retired it from videos about, like, theory and actual song writing. Uh, but anything else, I think it's still fair game to use on the channel. Anything that really double triggers aren't going to affect. So, uh, one of my favorite things about the OPZ is just how fast it is. So, let's go ahead and dial up a beat and just see how fast we can do it. So, I've got a blank project right now. Uh, first, I'm going to uh, just come up with like a basic four on the floor, snare drum two and four beat, and uh, then I will walk you guys through it. So, uh, without further ado, here we go. There you go, there's a basic four on the floor beat. So let me show you what I did. I first started on the kick drum track. I found a kick drum that I liked. Which uh, which one did I use? I used this one right here, and I put it on beats one, two, three, and four. Then I hopped over to the snare drum track, and on beat two, I put these two samples, which is really nice. You can layer samples together. And on beat four, I did these two. Then I went over to the hi-hat track. I think I picked, uh, yep, this hi-hat right here put in all 16th notes, and then dropped out the metronome, and we came up with this. If we wanted to add something melodically, we could go to, say, the bass track, and we could dial in whatever kind of sound we wanted, and we could play. We could quantize that. We could say we didn't like that. We could clear it real fast. Then we could drop an octave and play the same thing. Tweak our sound. We could go to the arpeggiator. We could change any of the sounds here too. Speed. Play style. Envelope. Effects. Go to the chords, make this four measures long, and record. Go to the lead sound, spend a teeny bit of time here dialing something in. That's fun. We do have access to an LFO as well. I'm not going to touch on that too much, uh, or at all, actually. Yeah, let's uh, jam. Here we go. There we go, just like that, we are completely uh, engrossed in a jam. And these are all just basically one bar phrases, um, except for the one that we set to four bars. And uh, we can completely change all of those from one measures long to nine measures long and completely jam on it. We can also go to the master track for a quick transpose. Or to apply a master filter. or to apply some global effects. We can also go to the tape track for some cool tape tricks. We can go to the performance track for some punch-in effects like on a pocket operator.
Yeah. But what if we want to change it up? What if we want to slow it down and make a new kind of beat? Well, let's go to our bass track. Let's clear that out. Let's go to our uh, tempo here, our metronome. We can either use the green knob to slow it down or we can tap in our tempo. Let's go 98. There we go. Let's go in and clear our chord track. Let's go ahead and clear the arpeggio. And uh, let's come up with something that feels completely different. Let's pick a different key. Yeah, here we go. Pick a different bass engine. Let's actually bump that up an octave so we can hear. There we go. There we go. And we can just go to the lead track and we can actually uh, find something in here that's uh, polyphonic, even in the lead. We can get screwed over by a double trigger there and we can just quickly erase and keep going. Quantize it, but not that much. We still want to hear that little spread. Drop the level. We can completely change up our drum samples. Let's pick a different snare drum, that'll really help. There we go, different hi-hat. Let's just do quarter notes so we can clear that like that. Uh, we'll do eighth notes, just like that. Let's go to the master track and do some transposition. We can set the master track to four measures long and we can actually record those transpositions. Still go to our ARP and play something super fun. Let's say we want to have a snare drum fill. Let's take this sample and put three at the end here. But we don't want it to play every time. Well, we can use step components to ensure that it plays only on the fourth time.
So there you go. That's how fast the OPZ is. You can fly around and do basically whatever you want, whenever you want, as long as the buttons don't double trigger on you because your device is bending. <sighs> anyway, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, you can always leave a dislike. That's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings, just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thank you so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.